wine buff Molly Batten House, and I'm going to be telling you about 100 of our favorite Bordeaux under $55. It's a great way to get to know Bordeaux, the great values and great wines. Today we're going to be tasting Chateau Les Clauseaux 2009. This is a wine from Grave, uh, which takes its name from the gravel that's in the region. It's a really, really nice area. Um, this wine, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how these wines are made today. So this is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. It's about 40% Merlot and 60% Cabernet Sauvignon. And to make this wine, what they do is separate those two grape varieties at the very, very beginning. The grapes come to the winery and, and they squish them a little bit and separate them, keep the varieties separate. So the wines are made completely separate and they sit for six months in stainless steel vats, separate and then they blend them. And then after blending, they go into oak for 12 months. And this is a very common thing to do in Bordeaux. It's not common everywhere. If you were in, say, Chateauneuf de Pop, or maybe over in Chianti, they would take all the grapes and throw them into the same vat together. But here they separate everything out so that before they put it into oak, they can blend it and taste and get it to just exactly the right way they want it, which is kind of a good thing, actually. And that method of winemaking is practiced all over the world, especially for these types of wines made with Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon, these Bordeaux blends from other places. They separate them and then blend them later and then let them sort of knit together in the oak barrels. So it spends a full year in oak. And you can smell a little of that oak here on the nose, but it's not um, overwhelming, it's subtle, it's a little bit of cedar, it's a little bit of, a little tiny little bit of coffee and some very subtle vanilla and baking spice. But what I really smell is the Cabernet, because the Cabernet here really sort of leaps out of the glass. And, and Grave, with its deep gravel soils, very similar yet different than Margot, but similar in the elegance and the grace of these wines. They can be some of the lightest wines that you have on the left bank, um, but certainly no less powerful and no less long-lived. These wines can be very, very long-lived. Although this one is a young one. It's from 2009, which is ripe vintage, and you get that nice ripe fruit here in the glass. And as you might expect, or as I've told you actually to expect from Grave, it is very elegant and very soft. Um, but it does have some nice structure. You can feel it sort of dry a little bit on your tongue and on your gums. Um, and that's good. That's a good counterpoint for things that have protein or a little bit of fat. With this elegance and this grace, this would be good for lighter cuts of meats or leaner cuts of meats. Um, maybe even something exotic like... Um, ostrich. I don't know if you've ever had ostrich, but very, very lean and sometimes fancy chefs like to throw that in. But uh, I'd probably rather do it with turkey, maybe something with Thanksgiving dinner or something. My mom always did turkey at Christmas too. So you could do it at Christmas time with a nice savory stuffing. It would be really, really pretty. And this wine is under $20. It's at about $18. So it would be a great wine to bring to the table on Thanksgiving. You won't break the bank, but you'll make everybody happy. Enjoy. Visit Bordeaux.com to learn more about today's Bordeaux selections.